What's up guys, this is James the First, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time, we got here to Gorilla Desert. Did a lot of stuff, uh, restored a bridge, got a bunch of other crap done, got a bunch of pulse holes, and today we're going to be getting the last two pulse holes right here. Um, in this part, right here, first pulse hole, yeah, they're jerks, they come through rocks and all that get you and we're not done here because there is another one here and let me get my bombs up before this thing comes out out of nowhere yeah, you can hear him oh get out of our get back into our human form and where are you show yourself there we go is that a case? I just saw. Alright. It's kind of weird how you can't hit them without sensing them. Kind of weird. But, yep, those are the only two pulse souls left. And... I might as well see what these lanterns are up to. I have a little bit of lantern oil left, or not that much, but I might as well check while we're here real quick. What do you got for me? It better be like 5,000 rupees or something like that. What is it? Please be something good. It's a... Okay, I know I don't like stamps, but that face is so adorable. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here, and I'll meet you guys back by the thingy that we saw yesterday. Alright, by said thingy that we saw yesterday, and this guy's going to be after us. Alright, let's see if we can sharpshoot him. No, we can't. Actually, oh, we did get him. Cool. What is it that hurt? Um, we're gonna put the uh, Hawkeye on. I know the first time we're actually using this. And we're gonna. Gonna get you. There we go. Right in the eye. And actually, I'm gonna put this. Like that. Head out. Yeah, I'll actually, that'd be better. Alright, welcome to the Bulbin Blaze. The Bulbin, Bulblin Base, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this base, base is not too bad. Just... Just shoot these Bulblins whenever you see them, and you should be good to go. Actually, I hear something. You know, I wouldn't put, put this past the game to put a jump scare like that, something like that. Let's get you. Get them as quick as possible without them seeing me. There we go. And it's nighttime again, which makes this place even creepier. Nice. Okay. Any more? Come on, I'll take all of you on at once. No, I won't. Not that chicken. Get you. Oh, dang. I guess there were some sleeping in the tents. There's one right there. Can I get it? No. But I bet they probably heard me. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now I'm down here. Oh. Could you. Yeah, there we go. Shoot you in the eye. And we have this place which needs a key, but we don't have a key. There we go. Knock out these guys at once. There we go. And we have a key with us. 
You got a small key! That was the jingly we heard. Now we can go, but you actually want to slice this bulb, oh, which is what those board things are called. Keep slicing him, more hearts will pop out in case you lost a lot. Just keep slicing him. Slice and dice, and when you're done, he'll give you a piece of art. Which we got our second row started. We're going so fast. Alright, let me take this uh, Hawkeye off real quick. Put items like they were supposed to be. And let's unlock that thing so we can get over here. Get a bulb bulb or whatever you want to call it. And... <gasps> Guess we're locked in. You remember this ugly face, right? Well, if you don't, he's a uh, King Bulblin, I guess you want to call him. Uh, actually, we're using some of our moves we learned, which is nice. Alright. There we go, keep slicing him. He's not that bad. There we go. Come on, just die. You're not worth being called a mini-boss. All you do is... There we go. No challenge whatsoever. And of course they lit it on fire, why would they leave us in here? And the whole place is burning, but we have our boar friend here. So before we burn to a crisp, we're gonna get the heck out of here. Come on, there we go. And charge! Now we could go to the next area, but we want to go back to the bullpen base. Because there's something now that it's nighttime. What would you what would it ever be? I don't know. Who else? But a pole soul. Getting all these say and we saw one next to the new area. Come on. Come on, I just wanna kill you. I wanna add you to my soul collection. There we go. Get you. And we got another one. Nice. Now we can go here. I swear, whenever we, whenever we get a new area, we're always interrupted by these freaking pole souls. And speaking of pole souls, there's one right there. <laughs> Alright. Alright, come on. Kill you. Postals are real creepy, I'll just say that. And there we go. Now let's go back to our human form right now. And let's enter. Remember that gap between, uh,. Oh, the fire temple, or whatever you want to call it, and, uh, the water temple. I always forget their names. The Goron Mines and, uh, whatever you want to call it. I forget. It's alright, though. I always forget. But, welcome to the Arbiter Ga Grounds. The new area of the game, and we have a new mechanic, Quicksand. This was a bad idea. Come on, climb it. Oh! Dang, those things are creepy. Alright, cool. Got our claw shot. That's what we'll do it right now. 
Uh, yeah, your main mechanic of this dungeon is gonna be Quicksand, or one of the main mechanics. And we have... Could you stop? Alright. We're gonna go right now. Might as well. If you're in the Quicksand too long enough, it will devour you like anything else. Get over here. And we are gonna pull... Oh, these guys are here. Can we skip them for now, please? Maybe so? No, of course not. Okay, those things are actually called... Whoa. The voice kind of peaked there for a sec. Alright, I can talk about them real quick. Those things are Stolfos, which... Stolfos are basically skeletons. They're not really threatening and all that. So just don't worry about them, and you should be good to go. Alright, let's go again. Might as well take them out. Just so we'll be done with this part. Actually, despite uh, Deseret levels being, um, like, everyone's like, oh, Desert levels are in every game. Or actually, no, these are... are from, all, from what I'm hearing, Stoffels were bigger. They're almost the same size as Link. Alright, just grab this. Hurry up. Oh, alright. No! Link! Come on! Uh, be right back. Why am I missing so much here? Actually, that's what I think it is. Yes, it is. You could actually pull it to you. Yeah. Go figure. Alright, and. I don't think it has no it doesn't all right there's no timer to it so we are good to go or as I would like to say but oh oh boy okay good these things are coming out <laughs> I thought something else was coming out but I guess not and we got a small key nice all right let's uh oh these things uh we'll call them uh Come on. There we go. We'll call them annoying bugs for now. And. Hallelujah. Let me get. It. Let me replenish my freaking lamp thing. And we got. Got full oil. That's a. Uh, oh dang. Didn't mean for it to love. And we're gonna get some more oil just in case. Because you're gonna need lantern oil a lot. And that's about it for now. But now that we got our small key, let's unlock this place and go even further inside. It is so dark and creepy, and I see creepy stuff. Let's get our lantern out, because why not? Come on. Come on, die. There are a ton of these things here. Bunch of creepy crawlies in here. Oh, dang, there's a lot. Alright, spin attack. There we go. Let's let these things before we get killed. Jesus, there are a ton. Alright, let's just ignore them. Remember, this place was a prison, so yeah. Let's switch to our wolf form, and let's see them. Oh, Jesus, Pose. What have you been needing nowadays? Alright, these are basically the same thing as Pose. They act as Pose souls, but they are much more threatening. Just keep attacking them. They take longer to hit, but they're basically the same thing as Pose souls, so, yeah. 
Got a Nerpulso. And, oh. I actually forgot their death is kind of gruesome if you think about it. But we got one down. One of those flames will return to where it was. That's one down. And when we sniff it. Dang, I forgot the last thing we had was Ia. But now we have the pulse in. The post in, whatever you want to call it. Now we know where each of the poles or the pose went. We have two over here. And where's and one up there. But before we go onward, let's switch back into human. Grab this real quick. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna get you. Come on. There we go. Got another piece of art. Nice. And I don't think I can make it. Please make it. Please. Oh, yeah, I did. All right. Well, according to the scent, we have two options. Either go left or right. Now, we might as well dig around, see what we could do. So, let's just dig. Dig, dig, dig. And we're gonna pull. And that will lower the stairs. Okay, you don't have to make it that long game. Alright. Uh, oh, I didn't know Minna can unlock things or whatever. Alright, ooh, a new enemy. Despite their creepy appearance, these things are called bubbles. Yeah. Yeah, one of the Powerpuff Girls, if you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, their official name is Bubbles. Yeah, or a bubble, whatever you want to call it. Alright, we're going to grab this thing. And this will... Oh, you... Oh god, these things are called re-deads. They're my least favorite enemy in the Zelda series. Oh god, I didn't think it'd be this soon that we had to fight one of these things. Ugh. Re-dead re scared, scared the hell out of me. Oh my god. Oh man, I, I hate re-deads. Like, I could deal with them. Um... Is that it? Have we actually... What's here? Uh, this takes us back. I guess we missed something in there. But Redeads freak the hell out of me. I swear. Every time I see them and every time they did our... Screen thing. They're just so freaking creepy. Alright, push link. Am I missing something here? I know I hear something. All right, let's uh, let's clear the room real quick. See if that's the problem. Uh, you said uh, where to pose it? Okay, we got one coming from out there, and one that's up there. All right. Looks like we have to go outside and go up to the other route. Let's go up here and see what's the dealio with this part. And rats, we got rats here. Yeah, rats. Giant rodents. Kill you. There we go. And oh, I see what needs to be done. All right. Kill you. Can we actually get down? No, we can't. All right. Uh, this place does have a bit of backtracking, depending on which way you go. So let's just jump down here. And their bodies are still there. Ugh. I mean, I'm alright with, with a good chunk of scary stuff, but... 
Honestly, just that creeps me out. Like, honestly. We're gonna move you. And then, uh. Can we move you again? We should be able to move you again. Okay, what is going? Oh, wait. No, no, I think I know. I think I know. Push you. And then, yes, that's open. Alright, we're gonna claw shot. Claw shot? There we go, claw shot. Claw shot. And over here we have an empty doorway. Might as well go through it. And... Alright, let's get our wolf fart out. Wolf fart, wolf part out. And we have a bunch of bubbles here. And we have another one of you. Yes, I can see you. I can see you in your little ugly ass cell phone. Sorry about that. Alright, yeah, they do have attacks. Come on. Alright, come on. There we go. Attack you. There we go. Oh, come on. Before he recharges. Oh, no. Uh, that's the first time we actually saw that. Yeah. If you wait till long before grabbing their soul, uh, Poe's will come back up to life. So let's wait to attack you. But I think it only takes... No, we gotta do the whole thing again. Alright. Here we go. Get that. And there we go. And with that, we have two flames. Now, these lanterns don't do anything, so do not worry about them. But... And we can't go to the left. Alright, what to do? Alright, let's. Link, come on. Stop jumping. There we go. Alright, with that, we should be able to go up there. But I think that part is a key, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, we have to. Can we actually skip it? Uh, no, we can't. I was gonna say we saw this for the second time, so might as well skip it, but we can't. It's okay, though. But did this part need a key? Because I'm pretty sure it did. If memory serves me right. Yes, it does. Oh, we do have a small key. I just realized that. <laughs> I even forgot how we got it. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Alright, we got two of the postals down for whatever that part is. Then we got here to the Arbiter Grounds. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to be continuing onward into the Arbiter Grounds. And see what we can do, alright? See you guys then.